hey, what's the deal with self-esteem and self-image? Aren't they the same thing? Well, not exactly. They're like peanut butter and jelly, related but different. Let's break it down. Self-esteem is how we value ourselves. That is our self-worth. It's that inner voice that says I'm enough. Self-image, on the other hand, is how we see ourselves, which includes our perceptions of our appearance, abilities, and personality. It's like looking in a mirror and seeing not just your face, but your entire being. Um, here's the kicker. Our self-image heavily influences our self-esteem. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Now let's talk psychology for a moment. Imagine you have a filter in your brain. This filter processes how you see yourself and the world around you. If the filter is clogged with negativity, your self-image becomes distorted, leading to low self-esteem. But clean that filter with positivity and truth and voila, you start seeing your true amazing self. Clinical psychologists often use techniques like cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, to help people clean their mental filters. CBT challenges negative thoughts, and replaces them with positive, realistic ones. When I use this method, I often verbalize my counter words and back them with scriptures from the Bible. It's like giving your brain a good spring cleaning. But hey, the Bible tells us that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139 verse 14. Our worth isn't based on our achievements, looks, or what others think of us. It's rooted in who God says we are. In Christ, we find our true self-esteem. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, we are God's masterpiece. Imagine that God sees you as his masterpiece. When you start to see yourself through God's eyes, your self-image and self-esteem transform. So whether you're struggling with self-doubt or negative self-image, remember this. You are loved, valued, and wonderfully made. Take a step today to renew your mind with positive thoughts and God's truth. Challenge those negative thoughts with the power of CBT, i.e. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy and the Word of God. Here are some helpful steps to take. Step 1. Acknowledge your feelings. It's okay to feel hurt, angry or sad about what you've experienced. Acknowledging your feelings is the first step toward healing. Talk to a trusted friend, family member or therapist about what you're going through. Expressing your emotions is incredibly therapeutic. Step 2. Challenge negative thoughts. When negative thoughts creep in, challenge them. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT, is fantastic for this. It teaches you to identify and dispute irrational or negative thoughts. For example, if you think I'm not good enough, counter it with I am capable and worthy. And like me, you can read Philippians 4 verse 13, which says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Step three, surround yourself with positivity. Build a support network of positive, uplifting people. Join a community group, church, or online support group where you can connect with others who encourage and inspire you. Step four, set boundaries. If you're dealing with bullies or naysayers, it's important to set boundaries. You don't have to tolerate disrespect. Assertively communicate your boundaries and if necessary, distance yourself from toxic individuals. Step five, practice self-care. Take care of yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Exercise, eat healthily, get enough sleep, and spend time doing things you love. Self-care is a powerful way to remind yourself that you matter. Step 6. Embrace forgiveness. Forgiving those who've hurt you isn't about excusing their behavior, but about freeing yourself from the burden of anger and resentment. Jesus teaches us to forgive as we have been forgiven. Matthew chapter 6 verses 14 and 15. It's a vital step in healing. Jesus loved you so much that he came to die for you, so you are of so much value that you are worth dying for. God's son came and died for you. Embrace his love and give your life to him. He will guide you, strengthen you, and help you see your true worth. If you have not embraced the love of Jesus in your heart, please say a prayer right where you are. Tell Jesus to come into your heart and be the Lord of your life today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Together, we can spread positivity and love. Thank you for watching.